on this episode, I get rot out of the oven, I use fire, and then I stick weld aluminum. Welcome back to our welder's journey. On today's episode, I'm gonna try and tell you all you need to know about stick welding aluminum. Aluminum stick welding is not the easiest thing to do or the best way for this metal. However, there are times when it's useful to do aluminum repair or maintenance work with your stick welder. Stick welding can weld over dirty metals, but for aluminum it's wise to clean the workpiece. Remove all oils, dirt and grease with acetylene or soap and scrub off the oxide with a stainless steel brush. The most common stick welding rod for aluminum is the E4043. This rod has a core aluminum wire and a special flux coating. With it you can weld almost all common aluminum alloys. The main benefit of preheating is decreasing the fast heat dissipation to maintain the puddle, to do strength loss and lower the cracking risk. For the common aluminum alloys, preheating to 200 degrees is enough. If the workpiece is thick, preheat the same temperature, but ensure the entire workpiece is preheated. Aluminum has a low melting point, but the high heat conductivity requires a high amperage. High amperage starts to arc easier and prevent the rock from sticking and keeps the puddle molten. You always want to use DC positive for aluminum stick welding. Aluminum rods need a tight traveling angle from 5 to 10 degrees from vertical for short shielding gas coverage and a short arc length. You always pull the rod to push the slack material back and preventing slack inclusions. When you weld aluminum you should avoid weaving beads because they are slow. Instead weld straight beads with a minimal side to side moving to avoid high heat input. The traveling speed of aluminum rods is easily two times faster compared to steel rods. With practice, you will find the correct speed. Personally, I like to keep the material hot and run multiple beads to give it strength. Aluminum stick welding is hard, but useful for quick repairs or windy environments. By using the correct equipment, following the proper procedure and enough practice to get used to the fast traveling speed, you can pass satisfactory aluminum beads. The most important things to remember are, remove the oxide layer, preheat aluminum, use dry and uncontaminated rods, Use enough amperage, hold a tight arc and move fast. If you want to join me on my welding journey, hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more videos on the way. 